Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to find the area of a zircon. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So in finding the area of a circle, we will use the formula area or A is equal to pi r squared. Again, area is equal to pi r squared. Now basically guys, your pi here, your pi is, sim is approximately 3.5. 14. This is a constant value that is the same to all circles. And another thing that you need to do or you need to know about the circle is that we need to know about the two different segments. The first one is the diameter. Diameter is a segment in which it connects two points from the other from one part of a circle to the other part of a circle and it's and it goes through the center. And the other segment na kailangan nyo matandaan is what you call the radius. Yung radius natin is a segment from one point of a circle up to the center, like this one. Okay? So know the difference. If this is the segment, this is your radius. And if you have a segment here from, another, from, from one point of a circle going to the second point of a circle and passes through the center, this is your diameter. So let's start solving the area of the first figure. So we have here, in this given figure or in this given circle, we're in, we have the given radius be equal to 10 centimeters. Remember, huh? this is a radius. You have the radius, meaning your R is equal to 10 centimeters so how are we going to calculate for the area of this given circle use the formula area is equal to pi r squared so first thing we need to do some of the teachers are asking for the area of the circle na hindi natin kailang is simplify yung pi at ang kailangan lang gawin dito is to simply plug in the value of r so what we have here is that we have a is equal to pi times 10 centimeter squared and simplifying this your 10 centimeter squared is simply equal to 100 centimeter or 100 pi centimeter squared so this is the area now if your teacher wants you to simplify this one using this value of pi 3.14 we can still do it simply by doing this as area is equal to 100 times 3.14 centimeter squared as you can see i have replaced this pi using the approximate value of 3.14 and this will give us the answer of area is approximately 314 centimeter squared so these are the possible answers in the first problem so again we use the symbol of approximate approximation symbol because the value of pi which is 3.14 is an approximate value now let's continue with our next problem for the next problem we are given this circle and as you can see, this one is a diameter. So, in our formula, we are using area is equal to pi r squared. So, sir, how are we going to solve for the area of this given circle if we have the diameter? Always remember that the value of your diameter is twice of the value of your radius meaning if you need the value of r all you need to do is to use this formula your diameter is to be divided by 2 and that is equal to your radius again let me write this one again your diameter 
divided by 2 is equal to the radius. So meaning, if your diameter is 12, and to simply get the value of your radius, all you need to do is to divide this by 2, and this will give you the radius or r is equal to 6 centimeters. So using this formula, we need to plug in the value of r. We have a, or area, is equal to pi times 6 centimeter squared. And we know that when you simplify this, this will give us 36 centimeters squared. And that will be area is equal to 36 pi centimeter squared. This is the possible first possible answer. And if you will be using the value of pi, which is approximately 3.14, we can still get the, the approximate value of it. We have area is equal to 36 pi centimeter squared. We will replace this using this value. And this will give us the area approximately 36 times 3.14 centimeter squared. And multiplying these numbers, 36, 36 times 3.14, our answer or the approximate area is simply 113.04 centimeter squared. And this is now the final answer for it. Now I hope guys now you learned something from this video on how to calculate for the area of a circle if we have the given radius or the diameter. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Marami marami salamat. Bye-bye!